The surface system is responsible for spawning effects caused by collisions and impacts. It is designed to be dynamic, powerful, and useful in a broad range of possible physics situations. In this video, we're going to use the surface system to set up a few different effects, such as when I shoot this grass texture with my assault rifle, I'll want some grass particles to play. Similarly, when I shoot the sand with my assault rifle, I want some dust to appear. And then right here we have a terrain, and this terrain has a grass texture, and then it also has some dirt texture. And we want a different effect to play based upon which texture was hit. So let's go ahead and get started by first creating this surface, the first surface system type, and that type is this surface impact. The surface impact describes what object is actually impacting with the object. So because we will be shooting an assault rifle bullet and the bullet impacts with the object, we are going to name this surface impact bullet. Let's go ahead and specify this impact, uh, surface impact on the assault rifle just so we don't forget later. If I go to the shootable weapon component and then I scroll down to this impact foldout, we'll see that there's this surface impact field and I want to just specify bullet. Now the bullet will be associated with the assault rifle so when the assault rifle shoots and it hits another object that object will know that the surface impact type was of type bullet. Well when bullet, the bullet hits sand or grass or dirt I want a different effect to play and in order to do that I first need to define what type of object the bullet hits. So I can do that by creating this surface type object. So we're going to set up the grass first and that, I mean there's not too much to do right now so let's go ahead and create this other object called this surface effect. The surface effect describes what happens when the surface impact hits the surface type. So we are going to call this bullet on grass. When the bullet hits the grass, we want an object to spawn and we want some particles to play. So I'm going to specify the grass particle prefab and we want it to have 100% probability of appearing. So now the effect has been created, but we don't have this particular effect linked to the impact and the type. So we can do that by adding another array element to this surface type and this array element asks for the surface impact and the surface effect. So now we've linked the two together. So when the bullet hits the grass, the grass will then play this bullet on grass effect. The last step that we need to do is add this surface identifier component so the surface system knows that when this object is hit it is actually grass. So let's go ahead and hit play. And now when I shoot this cube we should hopefully see some grass particles. Cool. Well notice that when I shoot down here there aren't any grass particles that play. Well we could go through and add that surface identifier component like we did with the cube but you'll notice that this is a single object that has more than just grass on it so instead we want to have the the surface type be looked up based on the texture that was hit and we can do that by going to the game game object and then looking at this surface manager component the surface manager component has a list of object surfaces that you can specify based on the texture. So in this case we have the grass surface type that we want to have it look up based on this grass texture. So we'll use this green grass texture and then there's also another grass texture on this hill or on the train. So let's go ahead and add that texture as well. Let's go ahead and add that texture as well. There we go. So now when I shoot this grass texture beneath the cube, we should see the particles pop up. So 
Cool. Perfect. And since we set up this terrain grass, we should see some grass right there as well. And we do. Now let's go and shoot this dirt. And we'll see that because we're shooting the dirt and not the actual grass, there aren't any particles that appear. Well, let's go ahead and change that by adding the dirt to this surface manager. But before we do that, we first need to create the surface type. So let's go ahead and create the surface type of dirt. And now we can specify that surface type in the surface manager. So I'll drag the dirt in. And then we will specify the dirt. Actually, what's the name of that? Terrain mudslide is the name of that texture. All right, so now we've specified the surface type. Let's go ahead and specify a surface effect that should play when the bullet hits the dirt. So bullet on dirt is the surface effect. And I'm going to cheat a little bit to see what effect we used in the demo scene so that I can get a similar effect. Um, I know that there will be a spawned object. And actually, let's just search for... Okay, cool. I have this bullet on dirt dust texture, or this bullet on dirt dust prefab. So that's all that I needed to specify. So now when the this surface effect plays, it will spawn this bullet dirt dust. Remember, I need to link the bullet to the bullet on dirt. And we can do that within the surface type. So we don't need to create a new surface impact because we already have one for the bullet. And then we do bullet on dirt. So now when I hit play and I shoot the dirt, I should hopefully see some dust appear. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Let's Let's take this to a little bit more extreme, and that was easy to set up, but now let's say that we want some footsteps to also appear on the sand when you're walking over it. We can do that by first creating the surface type, and then we'll call this sand, and then we will want to create the surface effect, and we will call it footsteps on sand. So this is a little bit different than the bullet in that we don't want to spawn any spawned object, but instead we want to uh, just specify a decal or a footprint that should play or that should appear. And we can do that by going to this decals prefab section and then adding a new prefab and we are going to add the footprint sand prefab. And because this footprint is different than a bullet, we will need to create a new surface impact. So instead of going through that menu, I'm just going to duplicate bullet. And I will call this footstep. And then we need to link the footstep and the footstep on sand effect to the surface type. So let's go ahead and add that array element. And we will drag the objects in. Now the last thing that we need to do is, actually, well, almost last thing that we need to do is specify the surface impact on the character. And this, under the character foot effects component, we can specify that the surface impact should be this footstep impact. And then the last thing that we need to do is add the sand object surface type to the surface manager. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we will need to specify the texture. So there it is. Now when we walk over the sand, we should see some footsteps up here. Yeah, there we go. Now when I shoot the sand, we'll see that nothing appears because I haven't set up that surface impact yet. But I can do so by just adding another array element. And then we can specify when the bullet will do, we'll duplicate this to make it a little quicker. And we'll do bullet on sand. And 
I'm hoping the prefab is called Bullet Sand Dust. Yes, it is. And now we need to link the bullet to the bullet on sand effect. And if I re-import that, it should update the name. Yeah. So, so that looks good. So now when I shoot the sand, we should also see some dust appear. Cool. So that's kind of an overview on how the service system works. It's an extremely complex system and you can do a lot of really neat things with it and it's actually pretty easy to set up. In the demo scene we have a whole bunch of surface effects and types that you can go through, um, but it's pretty much all the same process no matter what type of object you are adding it to.